Well, g'day everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. Today I have an unboxing to do with you and this particular package uh, is one of the ones I've actually just found. I was sorting out the craft room a little bit there and one of the pigeonholes has quite a few little secrets in there and um, yeah, a few of these unboxed diamond paintings that I bought way back in the year so I'll just put it that way I'm not really sure exactly when I purchased this one but it was yeah quite some time ago uh, so I haven't actually even cut open the bubble wrap or anything so I really can't even tell you what the image is at this point um, so yeah the little clues I do have is that on the packaging it does say from Lao Jiao Yun I think that's how you pronounce it or oh, I've butchered it completely I'm sorry um, store so I believe this is one that's from Aliexpress. I'll add all that information in the description box down below. All right so first of all we'll get this bubble wrap off it's well taped up both ends have been sealed and yeah it's been well protected through the post as I said I did purchase this a very long time ago but I thought I'd unbox it on the channel because hopefully it is all still current etc all right first of all we'll get rid of this bubble wrap so this is exactly how it came to me and then it was popped on a shelf in my craft room and obviously life continued on and it sort of just didn't quite make it to the unboxing stages unfortunately at the time there is quite a few there in the same situation so I will probably do a few more of these history unboxings soon okay so we'll just get rid of all that bubbly wrap mm-hmm so we have our box pretty standard sort of fellow so it's a bit warped but that's still in very good um, condition considering bit of tape on the ends mm. voila hopefully we can see that noises. yep that's pretty good all righty hello what do we got here mm. oh okay so that is our canvas looks like a big canvas too Nothing else left in the box, it's all wrapped together. So, goodbye box for now. And hello diamond painting. So the diamond painting is in a nice sealed uh, envelope as well to protect it from moisture and dust and all those things. And oh, there's the drills. I always forget to fold that back so things don't stick right. so coming out of there oh, those is the drill packets we'll just pop them to the side it has a bit of a foam roller as well just to sort of keep some shape to it okay that's everything oh no okay so there's the kit and I've got pretty much your basic kind of pen wax and I think like a 10 or 9 placer looks to be I'm not sure if it's a narrow one but yeah and one of the boats the green boats but with a spout okay let's get into the camp shall we voila have a nice texture about these canvases. It's a nice smooth canvas. 
What have we got though? Oh, I think I'm up the right way. Oh yes, very nice. Oh wow. Just relax that a little bit. Oh, can you see it? It's a beautiful girl. She is um, side on with her image and she has beautiful flowers in her hair. So I might just try and relax this a little bit with its cover. Lucky it's got a nice clear cover so I can see the image. It doesn't take much to relax this one. I have absolutely forgotten about uh, this purchase image. To be honest, so it's kind of cool to sort of discover these things and check them out. Make sure I have too much in the air bubble sort of thing. But that wasn't very much um, needed to get that nice and flat. That's pretty flat really for the little bit of adjusting that I've done. Just try and get a good shot of it. No, yeah, it's pretty good. It's nearly in, all in shot. So there you are. She's lovely, isn't she? This is her hair swishing through. A little bit of breeze, beautiful big lily flower. Her hair's done with nice fringe, and that's her hair tied up back, eyes, mouth, nose, etc. And this pink background. Very, very pretty image. Very nice. So we're just coming down and having a look through the canvas. And we'll come up to the top here and we'll zoom down to that top corner because some of the really interesting detail is there. So this is your thumbnail. Sorry, it's a bit shiny. Here we go, a bit better. So this is your thumbnail of the image it is quite a good size thumbnail and shows nice detail of the image of the lady there with her flowers and her hair. She's a very pretty and delicate young lady. Across the top of the canvas it has some information and tips, details etc. And along this side and this side only is a key and it tells me I have 16 colors in total. So it's going to come back out a little bit so we can see that. So you can see the key there and it has 16 colors. We have very large symbols that are printed very clearly and we have DMC numbers as well for those who like to follow the DMC numbers. So that's pretty nicely um, illustrated even though there's some very interesting uh, symbols. I don't think you'd have any trouble with identifying them to the canvas. And we will move across to that and have a look at the drilling fields. Now, as you can see, it's very clear. That print is very, very clear. We have a lot of color blocking for the black hair. That will be so much fun. 
some of the flower as it got a bit more of the not too intense confetti but a bit of color change through that that should give it some nice um, texture but as you can see it's really really lovely print all throughout the diamond painting I don't think you'd have any trouble with this as far as that can goes and if you do have a light pad it'd help again but I really don't think you'd need to use one basic information at the bottom of the canvas again and oh, and this side of the canvas we have your pictured instructions as well and the company's name and logo is also printed on these canvases So if you go onto AliExpress and you type that in, you usually can find this store rather easily. They do have a quite a range um, of diamond paintings to choose from. And you can choose different types of drills, etc. So yeah, plenty, plenty there on that site there to look at. And I'm sure you'd find something you like. The size of this painting I would say is a 40 by 50 or roundabouts. It doesn't actually say on here, but I was looking at it, I would suggest it would be something of that nature. Really, really lovely details there. The face is very soft, so it'll be interesting to see how this comes across to the background. As you can sort of see in the image there, it's very soft pale face and the pale background, so it'll be interesting to see how they can connect up. But it's a very, very pretty, very pretty delicate um, image there. It's really, really lovely. Very, very pretty. And the canvas is of good quality, you've got good cover, and yeah, that's pretty much your canvas. So I'll pop that aside, and we'll take a look at the drills. So rather large packet of drills oh, wait for the rattling to stop okay I'm done with all the rattling so they have their drills in the Ziploc bags that's how they present their drills this company and you have these stickers and it has like your DMC number on there and other details of course as well and they just use per color one bag so if you've got a lot of something like this black for example you'll therefore get a really big bag just trying to focus a little bit on the drills area nope oh there we go so you can get a little bit of an idea of the drills. Nice big bag of black. And of course these drills are that special rhinestone throughout. So this is a full drill rhinestone painting. So as I said, each of these, this is a silvery I think so a lot of that one as well we have some small blue some gold a lighter blue A 
more of a champagne colour. Pale pink. What's this one? So this one was smoky black. A bit more of a bronzy gold. A very pale sort of rose gold color. This is sort of a medium light purple, so that's very hard to see because all the little silver back ones to show themselves. Got a lot of that purpley color. This one's a darker purple. pretty green quite a dark green a nice brown a nice medium brown a nice golden fleck to it it's more of that peridot green very pretty vibrant little green and this very sea green color yes yeah, sea bluey green very pretty so that's all your drills for that piece as well so a very interesting piece, a lot of black for the hair, whoops, so a lot of black there for the hair and a nice um, range of beautiful rhinestone drills to work with. So yeah, so full drill, rhinestone, crystal rhinestone, it's one of the choices you can have from that particular store on AliExpress. You can order the same image in round or square if you prefer to work with those. That is um, available also. And yeah, there's a lot of images there. I'm not, I can't remember if you can select size or not, but uh, the sizes to the paintings that are available are, what would you call, um, the, the painting sizes work well with the image. That's pretty much what I'm getting at. So that usually is uh, available too, that you have the good size images to your paintings. And that's the image there. Alrighty. We'll just go up a little bit. So that's pretty much um, all about that particular diamond painting. I hope you enjoyed a historic walk through some of the stash. But as I said, if you go on AliExpress and you look up this name here, you are sure to find the store and um, sift through, you will find this image if you like it. And as I say, lots and lots of other ones to choose from there as well. And yeah, you can choose the crystal rhinestones or you can have rounds and squares as well as available. So there you go. Well, thank you very much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will say be your life beautiful with diamond art. Thank you everyone who has subscribed and watched the videos. I do appreciate everyone's time and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye for now.